Say it once, say it right. Avoiding redundancy in English. Hello learners, and welcome back to another exciting episode on our English learning journey. Today, we'll be tackling an important but often overlooked aspect of conversational English, avoiding repetition and redundancy. Mastering this skill can make your spoken English more engaging, effective, and professional. First, let's define what redundancy is. Redundancy occurs when we use more words than necessary to express something. For instance, saying, repeat again, is redundant because, repeat, already implies doing something again. Redundant phrases can sneak into our speech and writing quite easily, especially when we're focusing on making our points clear. However, avoiding redundancy makes our communication cleaner, clearer, and more respected. Now, let's look at some commonly used redundant phrases in English. 1. Free gift. A gift is already free. That's what makes it a gift. 2. Close proximity. Proximity already means closeness. 3. Advance warning. A warning is by nature something given in advance. Try to spot such phrases in your own speech and writing and work on eliminating the extra, unnecessary words. Here are some tips to help you avoid redundancy and make your English more concise. 1. Be aware. The first step to eliminating redundancy is being aware that you're doing it. Listen to yourself when you speak and read what you write carefully. 2. Practice paraphrasing. If you find yourself about to repeat something, try to find a different way to say it. Paraphrasing is a great tool for this. 3. Expand your vocabulary. The broader your vocabulary, the easier it will be to find different ways to express the same idea. 4. Keep sentences short. Long sentences are more prone to repetition and redundancy. Aim for clarity and simplicity. Remember, avoiding redundancy comes more naturally with practice. Try to integrate these tips into your daily English usage. Perhaps start a journal where you can practice writing without redundancy, or find a practice partner with whom you can conduct conversations. Gradually, you will notice your fluency and expressiveness improving. That brings us to the end of today's episode on avoiding repetition and redundancy in English. We hope this session has been helpful. Remember, mastering a language is a journey filled with small steps. Every little improvement you make brings you closer to your goal of fluency. Keep practicing, stay curious, and we'll see you in our next episode. Happy learning!